team ever to have back-to-back -back regular season games with 23 pointers. I'm Pete Mundo. Hi, this is Rich Ackerman. Listen to Ion College Football for the most comprehensive coverage in the game today at noon Eastern on CBS Sports Radio. Turn down that radio! Ignoring hearing loss can lead to arguments, misunderstandings, loss of connection, even depression and dementia. If you're ready to address your hearing loss and live life to the fullest, the MD Hearing Aid Air is an FDA-registered hearing aid that will save you thousands of dollars compared to traditional hearing aids. With prices starting under $350, the doctor-designed air is lightweight and nearly invisible. With the air, you'll understand every word, with no annoying whistling or background noise. And the three sound settings put you in control. You select the best setting for your surroundings. Call 1-800-397-9550. Best of all, you can try it 100% risk-free in your own home for 45 days. Call right now and you'll also get free shipping and a year's worth of free batteries, a $50 value. Call MD Hearing Aid at 1-800-397-9550. Satisfaction guaranteed. That's 1-800-397-9550. It's time now for the Callaway Cavaliers Key of LaGrange Saturday morning quarterback show on WELR Eagle 1023, WLAG 969 FM, 1240 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. Now live to the showroom of Key of LaGrange to give you the inside scoop on Callaway Cavaliers football. Welcome everyone to the Saturday morning quarterback show. I'm Brandon Brooks, your host along with the uh Absolutely the greatest high school football coach in the history of mankind. Uh, this is Pete Wiggins of the Callaway Cavaliers. And as you can tell, <coughs> uh, we won last night. And I say we, the Callaway Cavaliers, won in a barn burner over in Screven County, 35-34. to 34. And, Coach, I just want to say praise the Lord. What a game. What a game, bro. Awesome game for our kids and uh, our our. Callaway community, so proud of our boys last night. I mean, we got behind and uh, two scores, and uh, it was a back and forth game. And uh, you know, the the kids never doubted. They 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 kept fighting, and uh, they believe in what we do, and they believe in one another. And uh, uh, the ability to come back in that kind of situation on the road against a great football team and win that game um, with under a minute to go is so special. And uh, 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 again, just really proud of our, our kids. Well, it was an incredible night. Uh, Scriven County, four hours away. Y you just can't say enough about the Callaway family. We all went, it seemed like. I, I think uh, you and I were talking about it over, uh, on the way over. I, I think we had more more fans or as many as they did last night and uh, uh, it's just really special uh, atmosphere and uh, you know uh, great hospitality from their administration uh, uh, but uh, what a ball game last night their their coaches uh, came into our locker room after the game and uh, you know it was a, a, a really special special time in my career coaching I, I haven't had that happen very often and it was just uh, uh, you know they got a great group of guys running their program and uh and it shows your kids play hard but uh, you know last night uh, uh the, the effort from our kids and the uh, never never quit never die and uh, they just kept fighting and to pull out that win you know we, we had a 98 yard drive with under two minutes to go to win that football game it's just really special tells a lot about the character of our football team well there's just so many guys last night that made it happen uh I would dare say if, if there was an award from my perspective, Braylon Sanders uh, just had the game of his life. Uh, Dylan Johnson Dylan Johnson did an incredible job in the pocket, uh, really, really commanded his offense. 
Uh, you just had some great leadership in your seniors last night. Sure did. And, uh, uh, you know, talking about Dylan as far as uh, playing quarterback and punting the ball, he had a 55-yard punt in the second half that, uh, uh, that, that really changed the field. And uh, we'd stalled out uh, uh, deep in our own territory, and we, he punted out of the back of the end zone and uh, punted the ball 55 yards and uh, uh, re really made a difference. And, uh, uh, but uh, for him to stand in the pocket, it time and time again and uh, make those throws and he had some big runs last night too yeah. and uh, you talk about Braylon Sanders I mean he uh, the catches he made not only the catches but the uh, the yards after the catch and uh, just to 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 get those kind of yards against a great football team in big situations and then the the kickoff returns uh, he had a he had a, a a big kickoff return for a touchdown and uh, you know the punt returns being able to catch the ball and uh, uh, just two special ball players right there and uh, there were so many last night uh, uh, we we talked about Thomas Hodge on the way over Thomas Hodge is 165 170 pounds and. Uh, Playing defensive line against an offensive line that uh, was 310, 300, 280, 260. I mean, really, uh, really impressive effort from Thomas Hodge last night and Jamie Sellers and mm. LaShawn Terrell and Keegan right. Woods and all those guys up front. But uh, uh, again, just so proud of our boys and uh, how hard they worked and uh, the week of practice and preparation that we had coming into it. Uh, over the off week and uh, a lot of special things and it was really an, uh, a special week of practice for us. Well, we got a lot of things going on, of course, as Callaway defeats Screven County 35-34 in just an absolute barn burner. But we'll be right back after these important messages and we'll talk a little bit about what's coming up for the Callaway Cavaliers. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. Join us this month in participating in No Shit. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating a portion of our sales to them. We may not be shaving our beards, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias, like the 17 Kia Forte for as low as $15.9. If you're looking for a stylish car with great gas mileage, the Forte is perfect for you. Stop by and see us, beards and all, or visit us online at kiaoflagrange.com and help support your local economy. Price plus tax, tag, and title. Stock number 19075. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Have you gotten your flu shot? Now is the time. Holmes Pharmacy is the place to get your flu shot. And if you have insurance, it could be free. So don't wait. Drive right up to Holmes Pharmacy and get your flu shot today at Commerce Avenue in LaGrange or in Hamilton. And if your doctor feels you need a high-dose flu shot, Holmes Pharmacy has you covered. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. All right, DQ and Braylon split out to the left. Dylan's going to fake, roll to his left, looking to throw. He's going to throw it down. We got it open. DQ wide open, 10, 5, across the goal line, touchdown. Callaway Cavaliers, DQ Wilson. What a play right there, Andrew, by Dylan and DQ. Boy, there were several guys last night that really just uh, got together and pulled off some incredible, incredible plays. Coach, last night when – you or the guys turned around and saw all those <clears throat> saw all those Callaway folks. W w what goes through your mind? Well, again, and uh, the, I, I try I try to 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 make sure the kids uh, are aware of just how many people are in the stands. And, and often at times, I you, you'll tell the kids just turn around and look at the support right there and uh, and know who you're playing for. Uh, not only your teammate and yourself, but uh, all those that that are there every Friday night and all those that have. Yeah, laid the foundation before you that have been out there on that field working and uh, establishing the tr tradition that we have. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just so special every Friday 
night, depending no, no matter where we're at, but just to see all the the red and black shirts up in the stands and the support, and you know after the after the game to come out on the field and, uh, and again and uh, to see the former players is really special for us. And uh, I got a lot of text messages yesterday, and that's just it just means a whole bunch to us. And uh, um, I, I appreciate all those you know all those that made that trip with us. But talking about the, this last week of practice. Uh, obviously, we were out of school, and uh, you know it was a little different uh, time frame. We, we started practice each day at two, and uh, bring the kids in at one thirty, and we usually got off the field by about five o'clock. And uh, uh, but um, had a big Thanksgiving dinner uh, Thursday morning, and I just want to say thank you to all those involved with that. There was a lot of people uh, that made that really special, and uh, we cooked uh, um, a, a whole lot of food. And uh, 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 Mr. Moon also. Mr. Johnson, uh, Mr. Freeman, uh, my daddy, um, uh, just people working extremely hard uh, uh, for a long time. They got there at about 5.30 a.m. And, uh, uh, again, it was really special. And a lot of the, the mothers made um, – uh, sides that was and I and, and I'm not going to call names because I'll miss someone. But uh, uh, again, uh, it was it was really good. And uh, and then there were a group of ladies that came in and uh, made these goodie bags for the kids. And I'm not talking about just a little Ziploc bag. I'm talking about there was so much. Uh, uh, Powerade, Gatorades, and granola bars, all this uh, snack food for the kids on the bus. And, uh, again, uh, they made all these signs, and, and, and it was really, really special. Uh, for the kids and uh, just appreciate all those involved with making that happen and and when we left yesterday just had a crowd of folks that uh, that were on either side of the road as we pulled out that was uh, just made everything what what a week I mean yeah. it was really you know uh, uh, there's so many reasons that you see every day uh, of uh, from my standpoint as far as coaching ball and and uh, and you see the rewards but to, to, to get to this point there's four teams left and uh, just to see the young men grow and uh, and and come together week in and week out and overcome the adversities and uh, uh, just to, to get better and perform. I mean, it's so special and uh, uh, just a, it's it's a great to be a Capitol leader. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> well, I apologize for my voice this morning, but I was doing a little hollering last night, and uh, it was great as the Callaway Cavaliers defeated the Screven. Uh, Gamecocks 35 to 34. We'll take a quick break. Be right back right after these messages. Hi, friends. Just like to hear with Key of LaGrange. Join us this month in participating in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating a portion of our sales to them. We may not be shaving our beards, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias, like the 17 Kia Forte for as low as $15.9. If you're looking for a stylish car with great gas mileage, the Forte is perfect for you. Stop by and see us, beards and all, or visit us online at keyofthegrains.com and help support your local economy. Price plus tax, tag, and title. Stock number 19075. When it comes to your health, nobody beats the home team at Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Named number one large hospital by Georgia Trend Magazine. Nationally ranked a top 100 hospital by Truven Health. And one of the 100 great community hospitals by Becker's Hospital Review. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center is your award-winning team in LaGrange. Visit wellstar.org slash WGMC to learn more. We believe in life well lived. When a football team ends up with 12 men on the field, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for your car insurance than you need, it could also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call your State Farm agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange. All right, 441 to go now. Dylan drops straight back, looking to set the screen up. Now he comes back and finds Braylon. Braylon trying to get outside, make a guy miss, and he does. Cuts it up the field to the 30, go, go. to the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Braylon Sanders. And, man, that that kid can play football right there. Great job. And, and Braylon got a full head of steam, and no one wanted a piece of him. 
Well, I tell you what, what a fun game last night as uh, Callaway wins and uh, moves on to the final four in the state. And uh, I've got John here with me from Key of LaGrange. And thank you so much for letting us do Saturday morning quarterback here at Key of LaGrange. It, it's uh, a lot of fun to get here and celebrate the victory. And uh, I know the coach is uh, uh, getting here and uh, sleepy eyed and everything else. I think coach got in the bed about five o'clock this morning. So uh, not much sleep so far. Well, I'll tell you what, we're proud to have you guys. Great job, you and your boys, getting everything done out there. And uh, good luck for the rest of the uh, – the yeah, we the got two, two more games, and uh, it's, uh, it's, they win the state. But uh, let's get past the next one. That's going to be uh, going to be a tough one. And uh, I haven't asked the important question. Who won the twin, coin flip? We'll be on the, on the road uh, playing the Benedict team out of Savannah. So that's where we'll be next Friday night. All right, there we go. So we're going back to uh, uh, going back to Savannah and uh, Benedictine. And, uh, and that's going to be uh, a, a serious road trip in, again next week. So, uh, uh, so four hours of fun. You know what would be good on a big road trip like that? A, a new Sorrento from Key to Crane. There you go. There you go, folks. If you're traveling, come by and pick up your new Sorrento. Got some Black Friday money on them, so come on in. We'll save you a bunch of money. Thank you, John. Congratulations, and thank you again for letting us be here. All right, guys, back to you all. Well, what a great night. What a great night last night as we uh, traveled to Screven County, all of the – Callaway family, boy, it was incredible the number of people that were there. And um, boy, I tell you, Coach, uh, Screven County's offense and uh, offensive line and defensive line, boy, they were tough. But our kids, they, they were just tougher. That's all it was to it. You know, <laughs> they they had some good-looking young men, didn't they? And boy, uh, their fullback, uh, C.J. Wright, number twenty-one. Um, He's uh, he he was special. He's uh, uh, not your typical running back. He was six foot, three hundred pounds, two hundred ninety, something like that, and uh, a big guy that could move. And uh, uh, he had impressive film all year watching him. And we knew going into it that uh, we were going to have to stop that. And uh, again, he had yards and he, he moved the ball against us. But uh, you know, at the end of the game, when it when we had to have a stop, we got it and uh, uh, we're able to get our offense back out on the field. And uh, I mentioned earlier you know, it was two minutes just over two minutes to go in the game and um, uh, we're down by five and uh, uh, actually we're down by uh, maybe six and uh, uh, get the ball on the two yard line and uh, and that's when the drive started and uh, again our, our kids were uh, we had two timeouts and uh, we drove down the field and uh, made play after play and uh, uh, Braylon Sanders ended up uh, w with a catch over the middle and once he caught the ball he, he just turned it on and uh, got in the end zone and, uh, and, and everybody went nuts but uh, uh, what, what, a, what a drive and uh, the composure of, of the kids, uh, Dylan, Dylan running the, the offense and uh, you know the kids, Braylon making, making that grab and uh, D DJ Atkins had, had some big runs yeah. on that drive and, uh, you know, our offensive line opening up holes. But, uh, again, uh, you know, talking about to get us there, our defense had to have that stop. And uh, uh, I thought that uh, those guys played – they played their butts off last night. I mean, they really – we uh, Scraven, Scraven's got a great offense and right. it's a ball control offense. And, uh, um, you know, their offensive line is – uh, is how you draw them up. I mean, they were big, big guys, and uh, uh, again, they were they were patient with, it, with their play calling as far as letting the fullback uh, uh, get yards and uh, run the clock. And it's hard to stop. And mm -hmm. uh, it's a uh, it's an offense that's, that's uh, similar to to what we we've done. And uh, as far as a just an eye uh, formation, and uh, they run the veer and the power, and uh, they they were good at it. And uh, uh, again. Uh, uh, um, it was just a great football game and a great, great uh, game to be at on the field. Yeah, it was one of those, one of those games where you really just have a hard time describing the events that went on. Of course, you can talk about plays, but the caliber of young people that were on that field, it was just a phenomenal thing. Now, I know it took a lot to pull that off logistically yesterday, and I know that takes a lot of people. Just if you would, let's – just give out some key people because uh, th that's a huge undertaking, Coach. Well, uh, uh, yesterday, uh, I, mean, I talked about the whole week, but uh, again, uh, uh, Miss Sheila, Miss Sheila Allen, and 
Uh, Miss Cindy Stevens, uh, again, thank thank you, ladies, for everything you do. Um, again, they they were there early, they were there late each day, and uh, uh, I, I, again, so much they do that that folks just don't realize. I. I just want to say thank you, uh, Dr. Greer. Uh, she, uh, I called Dr. Greer, and uh, uh, we, I knew that Dublin was a little over halfway, and uh, we wanted to. Uh, uh, that's where we wanted to eat, and uh, she, she got that set up for us at a, at a little restaurant called Cloverleaf. And if you're ever in Dublin, I would recommend that place <laughs> every time. It was off the chain good, and uh, they actually opened up just to feed a football team, and. Uh, it was really special, and uh, the kids enjoyed it. And uh, again, I want to uh, say thank you to Dr. Greer and uh, Mr. Greer for uh, uh, that pregame meal for us yesterday. But uh, uh, you know, and then so many other individuals uh, that that I mentioned the guys there cooking early in the morning, and uh, uh, the the ladies preparing the meals. Uh, the uh, we had green beans and peas and mac and you, you should have had, this mac and cheese was the real deal. I mean, it was like it was like Nemo used to make. It was it was unbelievable. But uh, anyway, it was a really good meal and uh, that was all Thursday. But uh, uh, just a special week and uh, uh, again, uh, the, you know, the bus ride was. Uh, and it was a pretty good haul. Uh, we left at 12 o'clock, and uh, we stopped at, at uh, 2.50 in Dublin to eat and ended up eating about 3 o'clock to 3.30 and got back on the on the, the, the buses, and uh, we arrived in uh, Sylvania at about uh, 5 o'clock last night, just right on schedule. And uh, uh, But um, everything kind of played out like you want it to, to, to work out, and uh, – and that's always pretty cool when that happens. But uh, anyway, and uh, you know, the trip last night we got in uh, uh, somewhere ballpark around 3:15 this morning. And uh, uh, but uh, you know, the kids are excited, and uh, they should be. They they worked hard, and uh, uh, they busted their butt on yeah. the field, and yeah. uh, in a lot of ways. And uh, they played some good football teams, and uh, uh, we've overcome some. And, you know some deficits and in, in, uh, in games and just playing good teams and uh, again I can't speak highly enough of the character of, this, uh, of these kids and uh, uh, they never 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 uh, quit believing in that we're gonna win the ball game and uh, that's so special and it, and it, it tells you a lot about them on down the road these guys are going they're gonna be winners or they already are winners but uh, uh, they're they're really special kids well there was there was something about last night that I thought was pretty special and um just in the stands and, of course, with the Callaway family, uh, just right in the mix of them because it didn't take but just a little bit. If you were anywhere around anybody, you knew them very quickly because you were high-fiving or, uh, you know, in a prayer group or something because, I mean, just the craziness of the game. But but last night as I was on the sideline, you, you, could, hear, you could hear people just holler out um, if, if momentum shifted. We believe – we believe Callaway, and uh, we're with you. We're with you, boys. When it wasn't looking good, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna tell you something that that, that that's family right there. It, it is, and there was uh, you know with five minutes to go in the game, we were down by two scores, and uh, uh, and again, you you really have to uh, to believe in one another and uh, the whole. Uh, everybody, like you're saying, and uh, to to pull that game off, and uh, it was really really special. But uh, uh, what what an atmosphere! I mean, it was incredible, and uh, to watch the film, you know, watch the film last night, and uh, to see everybody, the everybody standing. I mean, and you can see it on film how everybody's just going crazy, and and um, it, it's really special to, yeah. to to see that. Well, it was a great night, and. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, be back right after these messages. I'm Brandon Brooks with head football coach Pete Wiggins of the Callaway Cavaliers. Thanks so much for joining us on the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show here in the Kia Showroom in LaGrange, Georgia. Hi, friends. Just like to hear with Kia of LaGrange. Join us this month in participating in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating a portion of our sales to them. We may not be shaving our beards, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias, like the 17 Kia Forte for as low as $15.9. If you're looking for a stylish car with great gas mileage, the Forte is perfect for you. Stop by and see us, beards and all, or visit us online at kiaoflagrange.com and help support your local economy. Price plus tax, tag, and title. Stock number 19075. 
There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics, well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. And here is your fourth down and seven for the season right here, Andrew. Dylan out of the shotgun, takes the snap, drops back, looking to throw, throws it across. He's got, the it. He's got Braylon at the 30, down to the 20, 10. Braylon inside the five, he's he for the end zone. He's there, Callaway. Touchdown, Braylon Sanders and the Callaway Cavaliers. And, Andrew, can you believe that with 17 seconds left to go in this game that the Callaway Cavaliers have a one-point lead and we're now waiting to see if we're going to go for two or kick the extra. What a play by Braylon Sanders. Boy, what a night. I tell you what. That makes me grin. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Boy, it's such an excitement, such a, an electricity that, were, that was in that stadium. And uh, I, just, I just want to say thank you for all of the, the Callaway family that, that took the drive. I totally understand. I was with you. Four hours is a long way. But uh, I tell you what, I wouldn't have missed that game for anything in the world. It was it was probably one of the greatest football games I've ever been to, and I'm I've been around a couple of weeks, so uh, I can say that with some uh, pretty pretty uh, incredible. I've seen some great games, but nonetheless, Coach, we've got a here we are again, uh, thirteen and zero. Uh, that sounds good. Let's say that again. I know it's thirteen and zero, Coach. Uh, thirteen and zero, and here we've got a big game Friday night. So, big game Friday night, and we need. What do you to, do? What do you do, Coach? Uh, hey, we we need those uh, that same crowd to go with us, and a few more, and uh, we're heading south and uh, head, headed back down. There's four football teams left in the state of Georgia right now. We're one of them. Uh, so it's a, a special place to be, and uh, I'm again, I'm proud of our coaches, uh, the, the work that they put in, and uh, the coaches' families. Uh, uh, always uh, the, the the coaches' wives, uh, they mean so much to us, and they were a big part of this week in making it special. And uh, I want to say uh, good morning to my daddy and, and and my and my baby girl, Sydney Ray. I know she's listening too. And uh, uh, anyway, uh, uh, I'll I'll be coming to. Coming to see y'all a little bit later on, but uh, again, uh, big big thank you to all those involved with with making this week happen and making this season as special as it is. And I just want to say a congratulations to our football team and these 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 young men that that, uh, that work their butts off day in day out and to, to get to where we're at. It's very yeah. special. Well, we're going to take a quick break uh, and come right back for our last segment. I'm Brandon Brooks here with head coach Pete Wiggins the Callaway Cavaliers at the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show here in the Kia Showroom in LaGrange, Georgia. Beautiful place, and we are really appreciative of the fact they're letting us use this place uh, for this morning's show. We'll be right back right after these messages. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Kia of LaGrange. Join us this month in participating in No Shave November. We're going to stop shaving and start raising funds for the American Cancer Society by donating a portion of our sales to them. We may not be shaving our beards, but we're shaving prices in all new Kias like the 17 Kia Forte for as low as $15.9. If you're looking for a stylish car with great gas mileage, the Forte is perfect for you. Stop by and see us, beards and all, or visit us online at kiaoflagrange.com and help support your local economy. Price plus tax, tag, and title. Stock number 19075. In the game of football, it takes the skill and effort of a team to reach the goal line. At Commercial Bank and Trust, we know it takes the same kind of teamwork to help you reach the goal of financial security. That's why we offer a team of professionals who are dedicated to providing effective game-winning financial solutions. You'll get the expertise you need from people you know and trust. Commercial Bank and Trust, a division of the Sonovas Bank. 
member FDIC. There's the shotgun snap. The quarterback looking to throw. Now he's going to take off and run. He gets no to the time 40, left. No to time left. Callaway wins. He's tackled it. Callaway wins. Callaway wins. And the Callaway Cavaliers are going to go to the final four, Andrew. Well, this is Brandon Brooks with head coach Pete Wiggins. Pete, you're going to the final four, man. <laughs> What does that mean to you, brother? That, that's uh, so special. And, uh, again, uh, the, the, the commitment from uh, these young men and our community has been great. And, uh, you know, to get to this point in the season is uh, uh, so special. And uh, uh, there's four teams left, and uh, the Callaway Cavaliers are one of them. And uh, uh, you, yeah, I've said this to the guys so many times, all you can ask for is an opportunity, and here we are with another one. So Friday night. Let's get on the road and let's go to Savannah and uh, uh, let's play another one. Absolutely. I'm fired up about it, and I know <laughs> the kids will be. We'll, we'll do just like we always do, uh, Sunday meeting, uh, watch some film, and then uh, get after it Monday at practice. So it uh, uh, won't change a whole lot. Uh, you know, we just uh, keep – keep uh, rolling and doing the things that's made us successful. And, again, uh, big thank you. I want to say thank you again. I, I said it earlier to, these, to our coaching staff, uh, the hours that those guys put in and, and uh, the dedication they have toward these kids is really special and uh, a great group of men and uh, uh, some special people. And, uh, again, the, the, the kids uh, out there every day, day in and day out, um, and it ain't always easy. And uh, out there working and getting better and then uh, our community. Uh, I mean, just to, to see the support and to hear it and the phone calls and the text messages and uh, it's just really special. And, uh, uh, again, uh, a big appreciation to our band, our cheerleaders, uh, our faculty administration uh, for just making all these things uh, uh different pieces that make it so special uh, for the kids on Friday night. Yeah. Well, it was de definitely an electric night last night as the Callaway Cavaliers beat the Screven Gamecocks 35-34 to and literally just a barn burner, 17 seconds left, and uh, the Callaway just did their magic, and it was awesome. And the crowd went crazy, the band, the cheerleaders. Uh, I, I just, I've got to definitely shout out to, I was on the, the charter bus with the cheerleaders and the parents that were there uh, as well as the students, boy, it was just a great time and it was Callaway family from the beginning. I mean, we were, it was, it was a great, great time. I want to encourage you. Uh, we understand it's a long way, but it's evident Callaway family can do it, but we're headed back to Savannah uh, this coming Friday and uh, it will be the the um, the final four for the state playoffs. We win Friday, we go play in the Dome. That's but, right. But we got to win Friday first. So I want to encourage you, uh, if you are a part of the Callaway family, I know it's a long trip, but make that trip. I promise you it'll be worth it because these boys are working hard, and we sure appreciate all of the effort, all of the sponsorships that enabled us to do that with charter buses. I mean, all that stuff costs money. And just a special thank you to all those businesses that helped out this week. Uh, but for Brandon Brooks, I'm head coach, or this is head coach Pete Wiggins for the Callaway Cavaliers. Beautiful Saturday morning quarterback show here in the Kia showroom. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you again next Saturday morning. Thanks for listening to the Callaway Cavaliers Key of LaGrange Saturday morning quarterback show on WELR.